Hello and welcome to Docplex's Health Minute. The Union Health Ministry has declared that ICMR will conduct its fourth national sero survey across the same 70 districts where the first three surveys were conducted to detect the prevalence of SARS-CoV-2. It is for the first time that a sero survey will include children below 10 years of age. The Supreme Court has directed the AIMS to delay the INI CET exam scheduled on June 16th by at least a month considering the current COVID-19 situation. This decision is based on the fact that candidates have been rendering COVID-19 duties far away from the chosen centers and have inadequate time to prepare for the exam. The US FDA has communicated that no new emergency use authorization will be approved for Covaxin and recommended to submit the biological license application to obtain full approval for the vaccine. A study by the researchers at Cleveland Clinic shows that individuals with previous exposure to SARS-CoV-2 do not get any additional benefit from the COVID-19 vaccine. Amidst the ongoing vaccination drive, this indicates prioritizing vaccination for individuals without prior infection. The union minister has emphasized the need for public awareness regarding the correlation between COVID-19 and diabetes. Every diabetic patient may not necessarily get COVID-19 infection, and at the same time, every COVID-19 infection may not necessarily lead to complications in diabetic patients. Do you think diabetic patients are at risk of developing complications due to COVID-19 infection? Share your thoughts by commenting below. Health Minute, the most liked segment of Docplexus brings you the latest happenings in the field of medical science. Stay tuned for more insights. Happy Docplexing.